Hello everyone. It's tea time number 39. Before we steep our tea and sip our tea, we must first have the essential element of tea, which is hot or cold water. In this case, we're going to start with some boiling water. So let's prepare that. As our water heats up, let's take a look at today's tea. Today's tea will be Ceylon and India. It states here, Orange Peco Mellow Black Tea. I've pulled up this tea's description on Harney and Sons website. Let's give it a look over. Orange Pico is a classic, satisfying blend of strong Assam and smooth liquoring Ceylon. A traditional staple in many households, John Harney always drank this tea whenever he needed a mellow, comforting cup. This is made from small, broken, BOP, teas in the British tradition, also known as Ceylon and India. Let's also take a look at Mike's tea ratings details. A classic British legacy tea that combines the strong teas from former British colonies. A great tea to wake up with or to shake you out of the afternoon doldrums. The British always use milk and sugar with this tea. Let's read this tea's brewing instructions. Use one cup of boiling water per tea bag and steep for five minutes. I have our boiling water here. We're just under boiled. Let's add our tea bag. And wait the recommended five minutes. So as our steep, as our as our tea steeps, uh, let's go over a couple of names that I was unsure about uh, in our descriptions. So Ceylon is the former name of Sri Lanka. Assam is an Indian state, and Pico means a high quality black tea made from young leaves. I'm still reading reading up on all of this tea, gr tea grading and also where the tea leaf uh, originates and is uh, usually grown from. But our five minutes of steep time is up. Let's try this tea and see how it tastes. Overall, it's super, super mild or medium bodied uh, black tea. Nothing crazy special. Blend is nice, but this is like a very traditional black tea. Nothing really added to it. So Harney usually does a good job of the balance of teas be being not so thick that they become cloudy and oversaturated and just too much and also the other part of the line being um or the opposite being uh, light and not not flavorful enough not full enough um which honestly i get rarely in teas and i think that's just because i'm either using too little water so sometimes the tea bags are intended for uh, two cups of tea or just more water to be steeping in general but also, I think tea companies um, go a little overboard a lot of the time when it comes to the flavor levels of their tea. They think the more flavor, the better. But a lot of the time, you want more refreshing teas with less less anything in it, more water. So that's just something I always keep in mind. Uh, but as it pertains to this tea, um, I do feel that 
it's slightly cloudy um, a little oversaturated like I said nothing crazy but definitely something that comes to mind as I sip this tea I think the blend overall is good maybe the blend is is as good as it can get for this type of tea but it's just uh, I, can, I think as they suggested as Mike's rating suggested <laughs> suggested it usually goes with milk and honey or milk and sugar a tasty tea but maybe I'm asking for more than this tea has to offer but this tea gets a 7.3 tastes great doesn't taste phenomenal it's definitely up your alley if you're looking for a classic black tea that's not too strong. I think its balance is good. It's still a little bit on the, the heavy flavorful side, but its body overall is medium. And that's a review. Thanks for being here, as always. And I hope you're learning new stuff on YouTube, not just about tea, but maybe learning things about life, learning a new skill. And that's it. Make sure to invest in yourself. Whatever you're doing, like put your time into things you love and things you want to grow at. And even if you don't know what those things are, just keep trying stuff. Cheers. Cheers.